A new study suggests researchers are close to discovering a biomarker for depression that could be seen in a blood test. In a study supported by the American National Institute of Health, participants with clinically diagnosed depression and anxiety were compared to people without depression or anxiety to look for a particular cellular biomarker. In a press release, the lead researcher of the study says, what we have developed is a test that can not only indicate the presence of depression, but it can also indicate therapeutic response with a single biomarker. And that is something that has not existed to date. The research builds off previous studies that found people with depression have decreased levels of an enzyme called adenyl cyclase. Researchers suspect a blood test will be able to help them identify if drug therapies like antidepressant medications are working effectively by tracking the enzyme in your bloodstream in as little as seven days. This will limit the period of trial and error. When people go on an antidepressant medication, there's a period of weeks where they have to wait to see if that medication is going to work, you know, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks. And if it doesn't work, then, then the the physician or psychiatrist will switch them to a new medication. Dr. Corey McKenzie, professor of clinical psychology at the University of Manitoba, says it's positive that attention is being given to mental health issues, but worries there's an increasing focus on biological treatments and solutions. He argues talk therapy is as effective, if not more so, than using only drugs for treating depression and anxiety. And really part of this has to do with the way that, that these mental health problems were marketed. Uh, going back into the 90s when they were marketed as biological problems as a way to reduce stigma. While he does see potential benefits in the new study's findings, Dr. McKenzie wants to see equal attention paid to psychological mental health treatments. I've, I've always chosen not to go on meds, right? Roland Vandell has battled depression, anxiety, and PTSD throughout his life. Vandell says he turned to drugs and alcohol as a coping mechanism for his mental health struggles. After going through detox and rehabilitation, he attributes his experience with talk therapy as what helped keep him sober for 21 years. And then the continuity of care. I was in psych therapy for 15 years, and I'm still in touch with my doctor when I need to, but I feel pretty strong these days. Dr. McKenzie says medication and talk therapy are both useful tools in addressing mental health issues. Some people require a mix of both to successfully overcome clinical depression and anxiety. Researchers for this study say more work does need to be done to determine how biomarkers can be used and to determine effective treatment plans. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.